Hi there, it's Mr. C from Divi Den. In this video, we're going to cover the 3D Portfolio Divi Layout Pack, which is one of the new products in our store. It's a really nice portfolio piece, which you can add to any of your websites. You can even turn it into a little microsite, uh, where you will then have this very nice portfolio pieces, a nice action for your clients to look at. These are featured images, which are then assigned to the project custom posts. These come inside Divi um, by default for your portfolio pieces. Uh, let's see a little further down the page. So you've got those nice ones at the top, the animation. Then if you go a bit further down, you've got the information about you, your location, your phone number. We've got some testimonials and then some pricing boxes if you want to give some indication of what you charge for your services also we've got a blog which links through to posts obviously you need blog posts for these which you might already have on your website we've got a subscribe this is the opt-in email opt-in module which comes with divi it uses that one and then we've got the social media some phone numbers and also the footer uh, let's go further. So we've got one of these. Let's go and click on one of these portfolio items. As you can see in the URL, that it takes you through to the custom post called project and results in this case. So the project name will be listed there. In that case, my lovely website that I built for a client. Then it lists the project name, the details that you want to list over there. Then we've got a nice gallery, which you can show some nice screenshots. Um, this also works really nicely responsively and then if you click on this you would get a nice light box pop up uh, so to make it easy for clients to view it in different devices then you'll notice we can go previous next project format so we click through this basically works like a post functionality because it's a custom post with a project so under the project box which we'll get through in in a moment you're just going to add new projects uh, with the featured images and the information that you need along with the galleries and then you have a very nice portfolio that you can click through and show your clients. So let's do one more. There we go. So you can see this will definitely wow your clients. Now the next step is how do we build all of this onto a website? So uh, let's have a look at the zip file which you would have received after you purchase the product so we've got the footer i think that's self-explanatory we've got the home page which you can also call the landing page um, for the portfolio that's a nice index page with the animations uh, and then we've got the actual project page so let's have a look in that we've got the wordpress xml import that's you know so that you have content to import otherwise you're going to just be creating these from scratch yourself we also have the import via Divi library, we have the CSS, we have the uh, import via page. This is if you just want to import the page itself. Then we have the demo portfolio images for you if you want to use those. Most likely you would be using your own. Uh, in fact, I recommend you use your own. That's the best way to go about it. Uh, let's pop out of this one. Let's go to the home page. Same applies over here. So we've got the uh, blog posts, which are on the home page. You need blog posts in order for that page to work. Alternatively, you can just remove those uh, from the from the Divi page layout if you don't want them. Import via library JSON file. Import via page only the JSON file. Then the CSS and some blog images. This is just to replicate the demo site which we've just shown to you let's go out of that and then there's the footer same applies don't need to go further there and then we've got the master import which will import all of these items uh, we've got the master css readme file and then of course the psds and very important is the code for the functions.php which you need to add in order to get that nice functionality let's go there quickly there we go this you definitely need uh, your functions.php and your style.css so to 
construct this portfolio piece you're going to first uh, create the home page you can also add navigation if that's what you want you may already have navigation on your site that will be different for everybody and let's go further then so there's the post these are the guys that i'm uh, that we've imported previously already you would have your own posts here so these don't matter um, but you do need to assign a featured image so i'm just going to click on that if you do have your own posts make sure that you assign the featured image over here because that's what's shown on the home page or the landing page however you want to call it the project portfolio page then we've got uh, the projects these come inside Divi as you know already so these are the individual pages uh, let's click on one let's click on the construction page so when you import the page itself you can just go yeah oops that was the wrong one uh, you can click there and then import the whole page if that's what you want the alternative is that you can load from library and then here add from library there's your personal portfolio once you've imported these so you can just import that personal portfolio project page personal portfolio library without footer um, these are all there then for you to import you can just import and test and see how they work so each of these would then have a featured image this is the one that shows on the front these ones over here so which one was that building the future there you can see there's the featured image for building the future so uh, and then individually you would go in uh, into each of these update those update the galleries update the titles uh, you can clone these pages you can export them you can do whatever you want with them so the most important to get this up and running then would be firstly to make sure that you have posts if you want to have posts on the home page you want to make sure that you have projects to add your projects it uses that project functionality third you want to make sure that you have imported all the components into the Divi library over here, which will be inside of the zip files. Uh, fourth, you need to make sure that you've added uh, the functions.php file code, which is appearance editor. Let's just go there and take a look. Make sure you pick your child theme and then functions.php. You're going to grab the code which comes inside the zip file we've already added this so you are just going to go over here open that file grab all this code and then insert it over here and click update file you also want to go to your Divi theme options general and then go down to custom CSS and input your custom CSS there once you've added the master CSS into the custom CSS box inside your Divi theme, you'll have everything that you need to have this beautiful portfolio, which you can now use to wow your clients and get more work. That concludes this video. Thanks a lot for watching and we hope you enjoy this new product from Divi Den. Ciao.